guys how's it going this is the driver um, figured I'd do a video this time I'm not able to do any streaming right now I'm uh, away from home but I have a my laptop with me uh, it's not my regular gaming system um, I'm limited on my internet and stuff stuff like that so I'm not able to really do any streaming I tried to do a test stream and it went horrible I have crap for internet right now so anyhow, um, back here on American Truck Sim, um, this is mainly what I've been goofing off with. I haven't been able to do multiplayer due to my internet, so I've been messing around with some mods and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and kick on over to the game. Hopefully all my recording goes well because I'm on this laptop and can't see my recording screen or anything like that. So I've been working on mess around with some mods and stuff like that there was an update so there was a lot of problems that I had to deal with and then I got that all straightened out so the biggest thing is is that I've got one heck of a map combo going on right now um, I'm currently in uh, Raton New Mexico I don't know if I'm saying that right but it is what it is so this is as far as I can zoom out so I've got the whole US I'm running the coast to coast map um, I've also got the Midwest expansion, which is this pretty much right here uh, for the most part. I'm not sure who all is doing what on this map. I do know who's doing this part, but I'm not going to say who. And then I've also got the Canada Dream, which uh, is pretty boring. Um, it goes up to that far, nothing in Alaska. So, and then uh, it's got this make-believe area out here. This was another piece called the ATMX or something like that. This is just a fantasy area. It, it's all on land and whatnot. We got bridges to go over. But it's got some pretty crazy terrain out there. And just to give you an idea, I mean, there's roads like this here. They're real tight, real narrow, real hilly. Um, so I find it a challenge when I go out that way. I don't do anything oversized when I do that, though. And then I've also got uh, Viva Mexico and Mexico Extremo, I believe is what it's called. And that gets me all down these here. And I have not been down to here yet. Have uh, ran around here and there in different places. So we're going to take a, uh, a harvester. It's an oversized load out to Indian, Indianapolis, Indiana. I want to see Indiana first. So we got to go all the way up here. So I'm going to do this video here. Um, I may chop it up a little bit to shorten it up. It's about a thousand mile run we've got here. Um, about 18 game hours um, translated out, you know, over four minutes to the hour. It'll take about an hour to run all this. I may run it all and, and just not even chop it up, but we'll see what how it goes. So with all that said, um, let's hop into it. I've already went and picked up my load, got her all hooked up. She's sitting here ready to ride. Um, just your plain Jane Harvester there. I don't even know what brand that even is. Can't even really see a logo on it. Let's see. Let's look at the back. Nah, I didn't even give you a real name. Not surprising though. But anyhow, let's go ahead and get this uh, show on the road here. So. Um, been trying to get used to a few things here with the um, the new update um, 1.37 and there's actually been another small patch since then and uh, I need to turn all that back on so the biggest thing that they did with uh, 1.37 was they uh, The biggest thing, and I, and I don't know if people were really looking forward to this, I didn't really <clears throat> look into it a whole lot. I've I seen a few videos and heard some of the new sounds. Um, I'm one of these ones that just kind of wait and try it out when I get to it. I didn't do any of the beta. Um, but anyways, the, the biggest thing from what I can tell was um, sounds. They did a complete makeover of the sounds. And... Uh, from what I can tell, um, the sounds aren't too bad. Um, I 
I've noticed a little bit of changes in the, uh, the vehicle sound. The motor sounds pretty much the same. The engine brake sounds the same. The air horn, well, that sounds more like a fog horn. I'm not impressed with the air horn. I kind of missed the horn I had, but I guess it kind of is what it is. Another feature they added was being able to roll up and down the door windows. I have not mapped the passenger side, but I did map the driver's side to roll it up and down and, and see the differences. So there is a lot of difference between up and down in the windows, and there's a lot of difference if you're out of the cab. And I'll, I'll kind of demonstrate some of that after we get up on the freeway here. And unfortunately, I don't have my key, my controller. I have another controller that I keep with this computer. It's an Xbox controller, and it's conflicting for some reason with the game. I don't know if it's because the PS4 controller I was using is kind of in the memory bank or what the issue is. So I'm, I'm reverted back to going to this keyboard again. Cruise control all set up. So we're, we're doing about 40, I'm sure y'all can see the uh, speedometer. But, you know, the difference in noise between exterior and interior <clears throat> is quite drastic. And then, I'm going to just try to look over here. You can probably see this as I do it, but I've got this map to my mouse. <clears throat> so as you roll the window down, it gets a little bit louder, a little bit louder. You know, and it gives you that sound like you are actually driving with the windows down. I don't mind all the extra noise, but I'm going to keep the window up for the sake of the, sh the video here. So I hope everybody's been doing good. It's been about two weeks since I've put anything out. Um, currently at this point, um, I don't even know what day it is. I know it's a Friday. <laughs> um, but I've been busy trying to get some other stuff done that I need to get done this um, quarantine thing during this pandemic, whatever you want to call it, um, you know, I'm not able to work, so I figured I'd come out here and, and get some stuff done that I got to do, and I'm not going to get into all that, but I've been real busy with what I've had to do. I think I just made that turn without a signal. Let's see. Yeah, the recording of this is going to be on April 24th. It's 11 o'clock at night for me. I don't know when I'll have this uploaded. Hopefully this video will go fine. I've tried to do some other recordings on this game and I actually tried to do one in Farming Simulator and I was having problems with with lag. Um, I kept Basically my frames kept dropping bigger crap. This laptop <clears throat> sadly is about the same age as my desktop but it, it has some problems. It doesn't run the smoothest. <clears throat> so I, I just spent the past hour adjusting my audio levels. Sadly, you can't even hear the streaming music over the truck, but I don't want anything overpowering right now until I get all that straightened out. So I may adjust some of that um, as we go along through here. But, um, so yeah, there was some other um, changes and, and I, I'm just gonna go ahead and tell y'all anyways, I don't know if those who play probably already know about them and stuff like that. So we have a cargo market. We can buy our own trailers. And I know pretty much everybody should know that by now. But they added a new trailer that you can own. And it is a food, what they're calling a food tanker. So it's, you know, it's a tanker that you can haul food products in. Um, so far from what I've seen on the market, I haven't pulled it and actually hauled any freight with it. But I bought it and then hooked it to the truck to look at the cargo market. And a lot of it was just like milk and like fruit juice and things like that. It didn't really, 
have a lot of the things that I would think that I would see. Um, being a, a truck driver myself, I have pulled a tanker before, and but I didn't haul anything food grade, but I hauled um, a lot of chemicals. One thing that I have noticed, I don't know if they've got something changed, kind of like how the uh, AI traffic mods are, but ever since I put these map uh, installs here on this, uh, this profile, this is my single player profile, um, number one, it changed a lot of the semi trucks to have um, the Mexican the Mexico um, cargoes on the trailers, uh, those companies. Um, there's a whole lot more buses. I don't remember this many buses, but of course I've been playing multiplayer for so long that I kind of forgot what the buses really even looked like. <clears throat> and the other issue I've ran into is these buses, they drive horribly slow. 75 mile an interstate, and you'll come rolling up on them and they'll be doing 45, 50 if you're lucky. And they will sit there and drag race each other down the interstate. It's kind of pathetic. So it's, it's a little bit on the annoying side with it. And that's my really my only complaint so far. So. If there's one of the buses right there, we're we'll probably going to get stuck behind. Yeah, I hope everybody's uh, staying safe and whatnot during this uh, so-called pandemic. I know there's been several cases of people getting sick and whatnot. I feel bad for those that have gotten sick, but, you know, we all get sick at one point or another, you know. But I really don't want to dwell on that. We hear about enough about it in the news. <clears throat> so I haven't done a whole lot of running on the coast to coast since I added the Midwest expansion. So the Midwest expansion, what it is supposed to do, it is, there's a guy that's working on that and he's basically improved a lot of things. He's added a lot more detail, textures, roads, you name it. I mean, he's actually really built the cities up. So, and I wanna get over there and kinda of see it. Indianapolis is gonna be one good way to look at it. Sight distance right here is kind of weird. I, I don't know if that is supposed to look like that over there or, or what the deal is. I don't know. Maybe the sight distance isn't. I guess there's not a huge sight distance. Bear with me here. I want to look at the map here. I want to see where we're at. So we're in Colorado right now. <clears throat> We'll eventually get into Kansas here shortly. Now, Colorado is kind of basic, but it seems a little plain right through here, especially with the sight distance. That, that doesn't seem quite right. <clears throat> I mean, the idea of the coast to coast is to be able to um, run more of the U.S., obviously, than what, you know, um, SCS has came up with. I really wish they would release more states at a, a faster pace. It just seems like, I mean, this, this game's been out since, uh, I think around 2016 or maybe even older than that. 
and yet we've only got you know, California, Nevada, Utah, Arizona, New Mexico, Oregon, and Washington. But on the plus side of it, at least it has a lot of nice detail. They have really did a great job on what they've done. Um, it really does resemble pretty much what's in those states. I've driven all 48 of the lower states. I've never been to Canada, never been to Mexico, so I can't speak for those areas. And I'm hearing, I, I read a, uh, a snip online and people have talked about it a little bit in some of the groups that I'm in, that um, Pro Mods is going to do, I think it's British Columbia up in Canada. They're going to create a mod for up there. And I don't know if that means they're going to continue extend, expanding or, or what they're going to do. So that's kind of interesting. I'm curious to see what they might do. Yeah, for the most part, I want to take you guys along for the ride, you know, doing this coast-to-coast -coast map and kind of just taking in the sights. This is one heck of a hill. <clears throat> and see, I'm not liking that, how that sight distance is. And I'm going to try to do this run as much in the daylight as possible. full stop there but wasn't nobody around my brake intensity set pretty high but I don't know if that's part of it or, or what the story is plus side we'll be discovering quite a few cities on this journey. Just how to give you guys a taste of whether or not you'd like uh, coast to coast or some of these other map mods. I'm going to try to do some videos on this stuff uh, going to different sectors. It's just going to kind of vary with my computer here. I went to make a recording earlier today and I had to actually just completely stop it because it just would not run. I do continue on these uh, coast to coast ones. Um, if there's a certain area you'd like to see, let me know, and I'll do what I can to try to put something out on that. If you got a particular state or a route, maybe, or something like that. As far as like the extra cargo mods that are available, I'm not going to fool with them. There's enough cargos right now, and a lot of them look exactly like what's in here already so I'm not gonna fool with any extra cargo mods <clears throat> and I've already learned my lesson with sound mods because <laughs> I did a I did an engine pack because I thought this truck needed a little bit better motor so I did an engine pack and it came with sound files and the engines were stupid fast I mean, just beyond stupid fast. Um, I mean, I think there was one motor that was like 
on a 3,000 horse or 3,500 horse or something like that. It was, it was stupid fast. It just had way too much giddy up and go. But the sound files were engine sounds that you don't even hear in this game, especially for a truck. Um, basically, there was two there was two engine sounds. No matter what motor you picked, you had two different engine sounds, and you had a V8 engine sound, and then you had a V8 engine sound with no mo with no muffler. Come on, Van. I'll push you. I know you'd take off. What's set my cruise and forgot to turn it down. So I wasn't happy with those sounds. <clears throat> and unfortunately, I removed the mod. And after that, I lost all of my game. My. All of my truck sounds, more or less. I didn't. Like, just the sounds of the turn signal and things like that gone. No motor sounds. Um, I could hear all the other cars around me, but I couldn't hear mine. Alright, Kansas. Let the scenery changed quick, didn't it? first time I ran one of these coast-to-coast -coast maps, or this coast-to-coast -coast map, it's been many years. I want to say at least two years. <clears throat> and I was highly disappointed. Now I want to give the modders credit because they they do a lot of work getting these done. But um, it was just it was just lacking. Because it was most of the drive from town to town was bare bones nothing there wasn't even this much no trees hardly any vegetation um, actually I'm, if I remember right there wasn't even speed limit signs I mean it was it was very basic and bare bones all it did was just gave you the ability just to drive somewhere else um, but I want to give credit to those guys because even though it was plain Jane just getting that much done is a lot of work and then adding in the detail is a lot of work now, I've never done any kind of modding work for American Truck Sim or Euro Truck Sim now I have done modding work for Farm Sim 17 and 19 and I know how much work goes into doing those and from what I'm told it's even worse it's a lot more work for American Truck and Euro Truck so I want to give them guys props for actually putting the time and effort into creating this and the way I look at it is even though there might be unpleasant areas it's a work in progress most mods are so it, it takes time to make a map beautiful you know and on top of that they're working around you know with all the DLC expansions that come out too Every time there's a patch update, they gotta go through and fix everything that they did. even slowed down right there but now I just want to give the modders credit you know and give them you know kudos thumbs up whatever you want to call it for the work they put into this see traffic like that traffic lights like that in the regular part of the game that's unique and it's unique things like that that I enjoy that's a working light it turned yellow after I went under it Alright. 
up on the old Interstate 70 here. In case you're wondering, the reflection is the beacons on the top of my truck. I am oversized. That trailer's got a shiny back door on it. about stopping at the end of these ramps they're way worse with this mod or not this particular one but I think it's due to the Mexico all right let's get our cruise control set back up so we've whittled about 300 miles off our run so far here and slow down for that exit. You see how the grass right here is, is very plain looking? It's just a painted texture, that's it. That's kind of what it was back, you know, the first time I ran this mod. But the whole thing was like that. What a tree in sight. Or if there was, there was only a few here and there. So they've really improved right this right through here. I mean, let's hop out of the cab for a second here. I mean, that, that over, that all looks pretty good. I gotta kind of watch here. I'm not very good at driving out here. It's weird. I play farm sim from this view. Play American Truck Simulator from inside the, the tow truck. See, I was talking about these traffic is slow. I mean, speed limit is 75, and that's what I'm doing. And I'm also, um, in case those may not be aware, I do run in a virtual truck company um, that I, I've joined up with with a group of other people. And uh, we, we go for the real miles, which is under 80 mile per hour. So you'll only see me topping out around 75. I may get up to 77 or 78 going down the hill before the retarder kicks in, but. So I, I am currently uh, trucking for uh, Five Star Truck, and uh, so far it's been a great group of people to hang out with, and um, we get together and do little convoys and things like that, and uh, that's kind of stuff. Now I haven't been on there here in the past couple of weeks because I've been away from home. I can't stream, can't play multiplayer. Um, I'm basically using my cell phone internet for data. That's part of the reason why this probably won't get uploaded until I get back home. And I'm not even sure when that's going to be. So let's see if we got three quarter tank of fuel. And the fuel stop right here, might as well make sure, right? I will say I'll probably be publishing or uploading several videos at one time. Now, how many, I don't know. I'm going to do kind of a rotation of games um, that I enjoy playing and maybe throw in a few that I haven't played yet. I don't have all my games on this computer, and without the Internet, I can't really download everything that I like to play. Um, but I've got both of my farm sims on here, so I'll probably do a video of each of those. also have Euro Truck on here. I haven't quite decided um, if I'm going to stream or record Euro Truck. I haven't started doing it yet. I keep saying that I'm going to and that I never do. Um, it's a different scenery. I, I like the aspect of it as well. But I'd rather truck an American if I'm going to be trucking. Um, I mean, that's that's where I'm from. A um, couple other titles that I have is Car Mechanic Simulator. I did a live stream on that. Um, that was one of my last streams that I did before I left town or left home. Um, I may do some more um, of that. 
just going through and doing repair orders and stuff like that. I haven't quite decided how exactly I'm going to do it. Like the American Truck Sim, I, I do one load per video. That's what I try to do. Sometimes I forget to, like when I switch when I'm live streaming or convoying, I, I forget to cut it off and cut it back on so I can start the next one. But uh, That's kind of what I try to do. Now with Car Mechanic Simulator, it might only take you 10 minutes to fix one car. It might only have a couple little things to do. And then there's other cars that, you know, I could do a complete rebuild, but, you know, that might take me a couple hours. That'd be a long string. So, I haven't quite decided if I'm going to do that one and how I would break it down. Um, another game that I have, I haven't really played it in a while. It probably needs to do an update, which is going to require internet. So I may not do it, but uh, Assassin's Creed was another game that I had a lot of fun playing. I'm not real good on it. I'm kind of a chicken. I, I go around and just, you know, sneak around and assassinate quite a bit to get through what I need to do. Um, I haven't progressed real far on it, but um, I enjoy the open world of it. I enjoy the, the scenery. It's got some awesome graphics. Um, and then the final game that I have, but I don't have subscription time on, is World of Warcraft. And there's so many people streaming that as well. I don't know if I really am full with it or not. I mean. I don't really do much on there. I don't do a whole lot of like dungeons and raids and things like that. I don't do a whole lot of grouping up anymore. Um, and I don't have my subscription active anyhow, so that one's going to be out of the question for at least the time being. Um, and that's pretty much what I have installed on here right now. And right now I don't really have any way of getting the rest of the stuff installed. I mean, I might get parking like a McDonald's parking lot, but wants to do that but uh, some of the other titles that I do have I have several Tomb Raiders that I've that I actually caught on sale and purchased and I haven't even played most of them a lot of them are the old ones they were like 99 cent a title so I was like what the heck why not so I grabbed them to see what they were all about and uh so I haven't really got around to playing on them yet. Um, one of them I did. I think it was Shadow of the Tomb Raider I started on, but I never got very far with it. Um, but I mean, I have, you know, the... I don't know, some of the oldest ones of that. Um, I have Assassin's Creed, the, the remastered. When I bought it, Odyssey, I got the remastered uh, Assassin's Creed. What was it called? Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered. It was the one that it kind of reminds me of like the Civil War, you know, with the guns and everything. I don't really remember which one it is. And I do have that one on here as well, but I didn't care for it as much as I did Odyssey. Um, eventually, I plan on buying some of the old Assassin's Creeds um, to play those to kind of get the story aspect. That's what I enjoy with a lot of games, is the storyline. Um, that's how I am with World of Warcraft, um, Assassin's Creed, a Tomb Raider. It, it's the storyline that I enjoy more than anything else. Of course, when I come in here and play you know, stuff like this, it doesn't have a storyline. But it's all about simulation at this point. Um, so a couple other games that I also recently purchased. I, I purchased um, Mud Runner. I've had a lot of people tell me, now don't buy it because Snow Runner's coming out. I think that's what it's called. But I went ahead and bought uh, Mud Runner. And I played it a little bit at home. I was trying to get a feel for it. Seems to be a really pretty, pretty cool game. Um, I haven't done a whole lot on it. I'm more goofed off than anything else. And I also purchased um, my summer car. So once I get back home, the titles that's not on this computer, I can maybe do some videos or some streams on if anybody's interested in those. For right now, it's going to be what's on this computer. So 
Um, I apologize if I'm rambling on. I'm used to kind of having an audience to chat with, so I'm just kind of talking to myself now. <laughs> Mile an hour is what this guy is doing here. Now he speeds up. With some of these map mods, I've noticed that the AI traffic's even worse. You know, they every time they change lanes, it seems like they've got to stop and look at it, think about it. I've never quite understood that. I'm doing 70 almost, and this guy's he's rolling it up now. He's gonna get past. What's gonna happen now? I actually had a truck that I was passing one time, and we were mirror to mirror, and that, that guy just pulled over on me, changed lanes right into me. I couldn't believe that one. And if you do run this here with the uh, the Mexico pieces, with these buses, you really got to watch with their turns. Um, they're not very good. Their their turning track is way off. Um, they overshoot their turns and everything. I've had them clip me, and actually had one he turned left and the tail clipped me my truck. So. Alright, I'm sure y'all don't want to see this in the dark, so what we're going to do here is I want to, just kind of bear with me here a minute, I'm going to hit, I'm going to hit the escape menu real quick. We have 30 hours, 31 hours to make this delivery, so what I want to do is I want to find us, I don't want to go to the radio, I clicked the wrong one. I want to see if I can find a spot we can sleep I'd like to do some most of this during the day. We should have stopped there in uh, Topeka. See, there's nothing right by the interstate. And being oversized, I don't want to... I guess we're going to do this in the dark. So I'm thinking, if I'm remembering correctly, this is going to more start over here. Where the guy that what I'm really wanting to see is going to be this right here. Um, but I still want to see this. I mean, I'd like to see it more than just it in the dark. And I'm sure y'all don't want to see it in the dark either, but we're just going to keep rolling for right now. Sorry about that. I just I wanted to try to do this where y'all can see it during the day, and not see it in the dark, because it's pitch black, obviously. See how he tapped his brakes after he moved over? I don't know why they do that. Or she, he, she, it. <laughs> I had a different beacon set up on here. It looked like one of those LED light bars you see like on a cop car, but they haven't updated it yet from the last time I checked. I haven't checked today though. I 
might turn it up just a notch. That way y'all have something to hear other than just this truck when I'm not talking at it. Is. I knew with that uh, motel, I'm betting that's just going to be like a standard motel that I can't get in and out of very easily with this load. Now yeah, we'll just ride along. Sorry, I'm, I'm really wanting to stop and do this during the daylight where y'all can see what's going on. But Audio change or something with the motor. See, like, there was no exit sign right there. Headlight system that I got is so bright I can't see the other vehicles coming until they're almost, almost too late. And the headlights is a mod that I uh, installed. I've also got the same thing for the reverse lights because I got tired of not being able to see when I'm backing up in the dark. Reverse lights, I would love to have a multiplayer. Headlights is whatever, they're nice, but you know. It's not the end of the world. The ones that's in game are bright enough. These just got that blue, bluish tint, you know, kind of like a LED or HID. late night. Dark scenery is tiring in a way, isn't it? We see a little rest place. I'm going to pop off and we'll do a quick sleep hopefully and continue on. Do this in the daylight. This dark kind of sucks. I mean, if, it was, if I wasn't recording, I wouldn't care. I also want to see this in the daylight.
Missouri that we're going through right now. I didn't see a Missouri welcome sign. I probably missed it. I don't remember seeing one. to them, picked them up, delivered them, uh, picked up from them, delivered to them. That was definitely an interesting job. The thing I liked about it was that I knew that I was doing something good for somebody. You know, somebody out there needed that van to be able to get around. And I'm not talking about just the older folk. I'm talking about, you know, people that are even my age that are disabled for whatever reason. I saw some pretty cool setups. I mean, the minivans were under <laughs> minivans. I'm not a minivan person. I'd rather have a pickup. But I went over to a place and picked up a uh, truck one time. And uh, it was pretty cool the way they did it. The whole side slid out. Another place I went to, the door winged up, you know, kind of like the uh, the doors on a DeLorean, you know, or a Lamborghini and something like that. You know, they winged up. So I've seen some pretty neat stuff out there. Hop I'm passing. I don't think he'll mind, will he? Certainly he's not going the speed limit. We'll say there is some more that needs to be done to this whole section right here. I drove this stuff at this road enough to remember the hills. Not as bad as on 44, but still hilly enough.
guess St. Louis wouldn't be a bad area to stop at. Let's take a look at our maps, see if there's anything right off the interstate. Man, look at all them companies. Look at that. It's like Industrial Park Row. There's a gas station up here. Just kind of weighing out the options here, you know. That's just a gas station. Somehow I've already been on that structure road there and I don't even remember it. Sorry guys, I don't mean to have to kind of pause this, but I wanted to wanted to do this to where y'all got to see a little something. The only thing I don't like about going here is I'm gonna have to make a left to get back to the interstate. <clears throat> and the repair shop is probably gonna be pretty small. I don't own that garage, so I can't sleep there. How the heck with it? We'll go up here. <clears throat> I want to try to get some more of this in the daylight and, and night. I should have planned my trip a little better and maybe got rest before we hooked up the load. First time I've heard that under the bridge, where it's got the echo and everything. That was part of the sound changes, if y'all ain't familiar with that. Probably gonna be the first time that I've ever took a rest break. truck. We're at a half a tank. We're good for now. Actually, yeah. Well, we're already in a gas station. Might as well do it. Go ahead and let's get the 
main top back off, I guess. Okay, sorry about that. I had to sneeze, and I don't think y'all wanted to hear that. First time I've done this in a long time. Nap time. Ah, uh, daylight. Alright, let's grind out of this place. Sorry about having to take the break, guys, but I just wanted to, I wanted to do this to where, uh, seriously, <laughs> oh, you don't see that too often, um, but I wanted to do this ride during the daytime for you guys, and also for me as well, but more for y'all. I wanted to see what this looks like. to the engine brake. Yeah, this is one of those interchanges for ETS. Tell by the way the lines are. Alright, we're back on the track we're supposed to be on. Got about three hours left we get to destination. And that's game hours, not uh, real hours. <clears throat> That'll take us about 15 minutes.
side here looks pretty good, don't it? Let's take a look from out here. And there we go, that's a better view. Oh yeah, those look pretty nice, don't it? Let's get back in the truck pulling the ball over somewhere else. <clears throat> Told you I can't drive from out there, but I wanted to try at least try to show it off a little bit. What I can see at least. This is the aggravating thing I was talking about earlier. And this right here might go on all the way to Indianapolis. One of the truck sims I played that if you flashed your lights or blew your horn or something like that, people would move out of your way. I don't remember which one that was. I played a bunch of the old ones. Uh, Hard Truck 18 Wheels of Steel was probably the first one I played. And Cross America, Convoy, Extreme Trucker 1 and 2. There's a few other titles, I just can't remember all of them. be honest with you guys, I would have already passed on the shoulder by now.
just like in the real world. Aggravating when people do that, right? I saw a uh, little news announcement that uh, American Truck Simulator is going to be releasing, from what I hear, by the end of this month, in April, um, the Mac deal. I think it's a Mac DLC. I'm not sure if it's a DLC or why they're doing it, but <clears throat> no, it's probably not a DLC. But anyhow, they're um, coming out with a new brand, uh, Mac Trucks, and I think they're bringing the man. Mac Anthem in, which is cool in one way. I really wish they'd bring something more old school. I don't care for a lot of the new round hood trucks. I like these old school box trucks, you know, boxy looking trucks. <clears throat> but I still think it's pretty cool. It'll be something new they'll be adding in. Supposed to be getting Idaho this year and Colorado as well. That'll be nice. Be nice when it happens. We're pretty much in Indianapolis. We're inside the loop now. from the Indianapolis written in this map there. Yeah, I believe we do have to exit up here. Right here. Somewhere up here. Yeah, there we go. Almost with the wrong exit.
though. We gotta run that side. Well, I say we let them park it. <clears throat> Make our life easier. Alright, guys. So, there we are. Made us a nice little delivery to Indianapolis. I hit level 44 in the process. And that's gonna be that on this stream, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed this. Um, Feel free to subscribe to me uh, if you want to see more. Um, no set schedule on when I put videos out. I just kind of get them out when I can. Um, feel free to follow me over on my Facebook page. Um, feel free to... Um, I already said subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed this. So, anyhow, you guys have a great one. And I'm going to throw this screen up here real quick. And... We are going to call it. I will see you guys next time. Bye.